It's Dr. 23 here, and today's night therapy, we're going to go through my EDC gear of what I've been carrying. And before I get started, I'd like to say Happy New Year, Happy 2023 to all of y'all. And it must be my year, 2023, for Stasa 23. <laughs> uh, I, I can't thank y'all enough. We just hit the 40K marker yesterday. That was my goal um, when the, the channel started climbing up rapidly. I was trying to hit that 40K marker before the new year, and we hit it literally uh, New Year's Eve night, I think it was. <coughs> and I, I'm, I can't thank y'all enough. I haven't forgot about the giveaway. Like I said, I was just trying to let the uh, holiday time kind of in the new year kind of slow down a little bit, let the mail service get back to normal, and then <clears throat> find me a live, a live stream slot that I can do a giveaway. And that's just more beneficial to y'all because I'm adding more and more knives to the giveaway. <clears throat> we do have some awesome knives, awesome sponsors. And uh, y'all just stay tuned. What I'll probably do is, is do a video to where y'all can comment on that video, whatever I tell y'all or whatever. And then we will have that live stream and pick from that live stream. Um, still haven't nailed down exactly how I want to do that. I, I, try to, I want to make it a little bit smoother than my last giveaway for all y'all who were there. It was kind of uh, a mess on my part and that was my fault. Um, but I just want to say thank y'all. You know, I struggle day to day with pain and PTSD, depression, and y'all helped me out more than y'all know. Um, for any of y'all who are new to this channel, I was in a bad uh, chemical plant explosion six years ago that I almost lost my life and uh, left me burnt 85% of my body. So I, I deal with the daily struggles and uh, sometimes I don't want to see anybody or talk to anybody, but I want to get a video out to y'all, so I turn that camera on, and it helps me forget about my day, forget about the pains I'm going through, and uh, I, I read some of y'all comments, and it just cheers me up. I can interact with you guys about something that we both have in common, and that is this EDC community, whether it be knives, EDC gear, you know, or anything else that we talk about. I made some really good friends here, and uh, I just want to say thank y'all for anybody who's ever supported me from the beginning and my new supporters <clears throat> i can't thank y'all enough y'all mean more than y'all will ever ever know so let's get into it we're going to go through what i've been carrying I, I think i've nailed down an edc pouch setup that i enjoy the most uh and other stuff that i've been carrying but let's go through my wallet real quick i was carrying my open sea leather i love their products this is the hubei wallet um, <clears throat> right now, I think I just got some cards in there. It's got a nice little slot right here for cards, slot right here for cards, and then back here, you can either put more cards or cash, and then it's just a simple fold-over one stitch right here. I went with the multicolor, and then I usually put my driver's license back there or the card I'm using the most. But uh, I use this one whenever I need something very minimal because it's very, very thin, <clears throat> and I was... Um, attending a lot of parties during the holidays and I don't want a bulky wallet on me because I might have slacks on or I just don't want a bulky wallet. But my go-to wallet for a while, you can see by the patina on this wallet is uh, the Notice. Um, I absolutely love this wallet. I love this wallet because of the setup. You have your cards here. I, I wish the cards would be vertical here too. That'd be the only thing I would change. And then for me, I love this money slot. I know, um, I think this is a European wallet because it has the European note size for the money slot on here. There's one by Bellroy that is kind of like this that I would think I'm gonna try out. If anybody has that Bellroy wallet that's kind of set up like this, let me know and let me know what you think about it. Um, I carry Hanks on me all the time to wipe my face, wipe my knives, depending on which one I got on me. And some of the super high qualities, Renegade Provision Co. Uh, Hanks are super nice quality. You have a microfiber in the front that I can clean knives with and the soft for my face. This is like a flannel. This actually came with one of my knives, but I have several of his Hanks and they're all high quality. And we got so many awesome Hank makers. So that's just the ones that I had on me. Now, this has been work in progress. This is an EDC pouch that I could throw this in my pocket. Usually it goes in my EDC backpack that I that I carry around with me all the time because it's a little heavy because I have it packed out. This right here is the garage gear, the garage built gear 
Mighty Pouch Plus, the Topo edition that they dropped. And uh, they're beginning, I guess, more and more people are starting to have them and they are they maybe they're ramping up production because now they sold out very quick, but this one, I was actually able to get it without, you know, trying to click, click, click. So that's cool. It has YKK zippers, very, very heavy duty built. Um, you got a bag zipper right here. I have a microfiber cloth in there that I keep. Um, of course, I gotta have the patch game, gotta have my, my patch to here. Uh, I'll probably put one of these in each one of the prize packs for my giveaway. I have the No Regrets, uh, the De Dessert Warrior, uh, Taylor's Best Damn EDC. These are really cool. This is a Titanium uh, Ranger Eye from uh, McNeese Knives. He he does some of these. Very cool. And then this one's from, uh, dang it, why can't I think of it? If I, if I remember, I'll put it up here on the screen. Because Zero Feud, that's who had this, I think. So very, very nice zippers here. And then you open it up. I keep a microfiber cloth just to keep all my stuff from rubbing against each other just because they got some expensive stuff in here. We're gonna go through this stuff just really quick. Uh, Multi-tool, love this one. Thanks to Taylor from Best Hand MDC. The, the SOG Power Pipe, uh, Power Pint, very cool. It, I, I like the size of it just like him. And I uh, love having the pliers. It's very smooth. I have, I've had this for a long time, but whenever I saw Taylor talking about it, I gave it a shot and I found out how much I loved it. It has all, it has tools all right there, your normal multi-clip tools, I mean, multi-tool tools. Uh, I love that it has a pocket clip. And then um, this came with this right here, just in a driver extension with a magnet, ma magnetized uh, bit in there. This is... Uh, Kind of like the uh, Leatherman ratchet uh, tool or whatever, except uh, it's much cheaper. I had the Leatherman one. It's in another one of my packs, but I like this one because it's a lot thinner and it can fit right there. Then you can you can use it as a ratchet. Uh, also, it, it can fit in this one as well. This is the new, if you haven't seen my unboxing of this, this is the new Big Idea Designs Bit Bar 2 with the new slide up button. Um, and it's just built a little bit better. It's got the deep carry pocket clip here. It's got the two slots for uh, your drivers. I could put this extension in, in it if I wanted to and do my stuff. Or if I wanted to, I could stick this ratchet end in it and I got much more torque because of that bigger handle. All right, we're gonna have to go through this stuff a little bit quicker because I don't want to be here all day. Um, something that I have really, really uh, grown fond of are these uh, Kennepex uh, uh, channel locks, I guess you call them. This is a Cobra wrench, I think it is. This is their smallest, if I'm not mistaken. I love, I love, love these. You'd be surprised on how much grip you can get down because of these wide handles right there. Uh, and it's just so compact. I can keep it in this micro pouch. Um, and that's that's how this side is set up with the, the Mighty Pouch Plus. You got these two pockets and then this. Uh, and on this left side, probably my favorite light that you know I carry. Now this is a premium light. It's a very expensive light. I think it's like 400 bucks, which is outrageous. But I wanted one custom light because I don't own any. This is the CWF light, flashlight or CWF lights micro Arcadia. It's got uh, tons of features in it. I love that it's a tail clicky pocket clip. is extremely stiff, but uh, it's it's doable. Uh, it usually stays in this pouch anyway, and it's bright. It has so many different um, different things you can do, change things up. Then my pry bar, I have uh, the Barrow Mini Fulcrum with the frag here. Love the fulcrum because of its multi-purpose. Uh, you have the pry end, which that saves the tips of my knives so so often. Then you have the uh, bit end over there with the magnetized. So if you if I wanted to, I could use this, but I usually use one of those. Um, then the pin that I have back here, love these pins. Uh, this is another big idea design pin. I think this is the pocket pro. I'm not certain, but it's the twisty one that accepts so many different cartridges. I like the size of it. And then being that it's small, 
uh, most pens are like nice and slim like this and they're hard to write with because they're so small but this one has the the thicker barrel right here so it feels like a bigger pen and it fits perfect right there so i like the weight on it and then as a backup multi-tool and blade <laughs> i have the uh flytanium titanium uh scales on the cadet i'm pretty sure this one is um and then you have the bottle opener screwdriver i don't need to pull all that out so that's that's how i <clears throat> how i've been carrying uh this one this one like i said usually stays in my backpack <clears throat> and you'll be surprised when you start carrying this kind of stuff uh depending on if you have kids or not you'd be surprised on how often you use some of this stuff <clears throat> now some of this stuff's new like this is new to me my other one's been used a whole lot and i just got this so i can't wait to try this out but i i have a my I bought we bought my son a condo and uh I do the maintenance there sometimes and um I've already you know forgot something and like a like my main tool and uh some of this stuff has come in so handy. It's just easy because this is stuff that you can forget about. You know, you just leave it in the car or whatever, however you want to carry it. I have in the backpack and it's always there. Another good one that I have really enjoyed carrying. I'm not going to go through this one, though. This is the uh, Alpaca Gear Hub Pouch. You can also get them now with the hook and loop on the front, I think it is. You got a zip pocket right here. Um, this one's loaded out, too, with the old bit bar. That's the other uh, ratchet driver I was talking about. I have a knife here. You have two slots up here with this, uh, with this elastic right here. On this side, I have multi-tool. Uh, bit driver, uh, pocket pen, and uh, through night mini archer and uh, Lynch uh, pry bar. So this one's good. You got another zipper pouch here. Well, no, that's this one only has one zipper pouch there. But this one is a great alternative, much cheaper, and um, it their products are pretty nice. I've had this one for a while. I've used it a good bit, and I haven't had anything come loose on me. It's got the reverse zippers there. And here, it's uh, built built pretty well. But these usually stay in my backpack. Uh, they're too a little too bulky to put in the pocket for the most part. You could probably put this one. This one's not super bulky. It's just a little weighty. But I do have some that I, I do throw in the pocket more often. And that's these little pouches right here. These are my three go-to pouches right here. Uh, they're, they're much lighter because I have less gear in them, but this has just got some of the centrals. This right here is another garage built gear. Uh, this is their, I can't say it, I'm going to put it on the stream, the Tokochi wallet with the black Typhoon pattern on there. I uh, bought this one recently <laughs> on the zipper pull. I got a bit driver from Civivi <coughs> um, in this main pocket. I got a pen. I have a multi-tool. That's just a custom sack. And then the bottom right here, probably one of my, this is my second favorite light, EDC light, especially titanium light. And that is the Raylite uh, Mini Pineapple. Love this uh, light. And they're not super expensive either. Keep it in here just so it's not rubbing against that. And then it does have another pocket. Now, what I like about this one is, is if I, if I don't want to carry my regular wallet, I can throw some cash in there and a credit card or just credit cards and just use it as my wallet, uh, depending on if I'm traveling or not. And then in this pocket, um, just a pry bar. This one's from Wesson Gear. I like because it's nice and thin, easy to put in this uh, little pocket. And then this is, I love these. This is from Lever Gear. Um, it's, I'm not gonna pull it all out, but it's the, it's the six in one. It's got all your um, your plugs for an iPhone. It even has the little pin thing to uh, take the, the Sims card out. Really, really cool. Very lightweight and compact. Now, I only use this in a pinch, you know, in the airport or something, or if I forgot my charger and I have my power bank. And that's another thing that's not in this one. It's in my uh, other big EC pouch. I have a very thin, uh, hold on, let me grab it. And I usually keep one of these in here. This right here is a very thin credit card style. This is the Clutch brand, I guess. Uh, power bank, I'm sorry. This one has the iPhone uh, thing here, but it doesn't work the best. 
Um, it's not that long, so that little thing compared with this, excellent in a pinch. You could get one charge with your uh, iPhone with this. And for time's sake, time sake, we're just gonna go through these real quick. This is the Alpaca Gear Zip Pouch Pro. Um, I use this one on my, my trip to Jamaica. Love this thing. Um, it's, it's just a little tight whenever you have it loaded out with stuff on the outside. I have Baby Vanter here. You have a zip pocket. Very nice pockets on this uh, zip pocket here. Uh, pin slot. I have big idea design. Bolt action with the Timasis bolt. And, oh, and another um, Lynch Northwest uh, pry bar here. So very cool. Like I said it, it, in the video where I did with this, is if you don't have the stuff on the outside, you can use it as a wallet because... There is a uh, there is a spot double. It's, it's got two little sections in here. Right here, I have um, a utility knife that is the uh, Rexford rut in there, and a leather case. These two I put in my front pocket. Now this one is from Gun Deck EDC, and this is in his canvas material. You can also get it in this other material he has, and then I opted. See the, the sewing right here to have the pocket in here. I like this one because it has two separation pockets in here. I have a Leatherman tool here. And then in here I have <coughs> my uh, stream light, micro stream USB. Love this light. Um, a pocket pin right here. And um, this is Big Idea Design TPT slot in here as a uh, backup blade. So that's my micro pouches that I keep in my pocket often. Now, real quick, we'll go through the blades that I carried last night for New Year's Eve and the blades that I have on me today because I'm constantly rotating. Last night, I was carrying my uh, Quiet Carry, the new Quiet Carry Waypoint with the knurling on here. And this one was on me because I was at, we were at the neighbor's house. They had a big party. And uh, I knew somebody would probably ask me to use my knife for something that would maybe be nasty, whether they're cutting up cake or something like that or anything, something. And it would come back to me messy. Twice it happened to me last night, and I knew I didn't have to worry about this one. And then the other one, just in case there were some knife bros there, I carried the new uh, Sabenza 31 Magna Cut with me. Uh, I've been testing this one out a lot, and so far, absolutely loving this knife. That's what was on me last night, <laughs> and then today I had to break down a bunch of boxes because uh, we pulled out some stuff for the party last night, and we also did some fireworks, and I was breaking down some boxes, so I had my tried true Spyderco Police 4 and K390. This thing is a pot, uh, cardboard destroyer, and man, it, it's gotten so smooth. Love this thing. It's a beast. Uh, it's a big beast that is easy to carry. Just give you a size reference <laughs> with the uh, waypoint and uh, the Savenza 31 small. So it's a beast. And then <laughs> also as a little backup blade uh, with the Police 4, I had the little Emerson June bug on me. Um, I was using this one actually to carve out. <laughs> My daughter and them had this little uh, thing they were coloring and wanted me to cut it out. So I wanted to see if I could do it with this and talk about that little that little point right there. It's like a little scalpel. Cool little knife. Um, one that I, I don't think, I think it's sold out. I don't know if they're going to be doing any more of these, but it's cool. And I like it because it's, you know, something that might not be around. Hammerson's known for doing that. So that's what... I've been carrying, if you if you carry EDC pouches, let me know what you carry and you know, what if I if there's something that you carry that you think would be beneficial for the type of stuff I carry. I mean, I know there's no lighters in any of these. I have that kind of stuff in my uh my my pouch in my truck that lives in my truck. It's a big pouch from um uh, I can't think of the name of the company. That kind of stuff stays in there and uh, if I'm going out into the woods, I, I bring all that stuff. But this is my city carry, you know, my everyday life type stuff. I'm not an outside wilderness guy. I can't be outside too often in the sun. So, you know, I, I, I don't need a lot of that stuff on me a lot of times. And it just stays in the truck. So if y'all have stuff, like I said, that y'all think would be great additions, definitely let me know because I definitely will uh, think about adding it to my kits and uh, if you have any any cool 
EDC pouches that you like that are similar to these, or, you know, small, compact. Love to hear that as well. All right, guys, guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them down below. I'll try to leave links to whatever is available down in the description. And I hope everybody's having a great, great start of the new year. I will see y'all on the next one. Peace.